YouTubers. Here's what happened. You've got to be piously aligned. So after all that pet killing, I was stridently aligned. And stridently is not pious. It's less than pious. So it wouldn't let me go down. Now, however, I can go down because we went back and sacrificed a few times and that's all there oh, was. Oh, so it did just let you go down? Yeah. Oh, nice. So Bodo Thanks, wasn't buddy. a bug. Let's kill some quests. So yeah, I think what I'll do is finish the quest and then just lead them all up at one time so I don't have to go back down for any reason. A good idea. Have you looked at how to kill the quest leader? Yeah, he respects Elbereth, I hear. I'm sure he would go he would fall to a death wand anyway, and I've got a death wand, so I mean it's not very uh, exciting to kill all these badasses with the death wand instead of hand to hand fighting or whatever, but Yeah. It's not very on, a little... to worry. Okay, now we're gonna try the garlic theory, right? The garlic yeah, if I drop a clove of garlic here. I made my doctor on the garlic <laughs> Oh, and you know, I can still engrave Elbereth here also. The reason we weren't going to do it was because um, my, my pets wouldn't be able to follow me up the staircase or wouldn't want to. But let me make sure I've got my fire wand out because I'm probably going to Elbereth this square. That's not the final level. Yeah, I've got it. Yeah, I know. But look at what's facing me, babe. I mean, if that doesn't make you think... Right? What? You're drain resistant, right? Yeah, I am. But still, if I get completely surrounded by uh, vampire lords and Meryliths and stuff, I don't know how long I can ha hold out. So we're going to start with a uh, clove of garlic. Yeah, you know what? Let's do. I'm going to do Elbereth right now. You, the vampires so won't respect it, but the Edens will. The wraiths will, the cobbles will, the mirrorless will, so it'll take yeah, a little bit of pressure. And, uh, and everything on that will respect the um, garlic. Oh, and everything else will respect the garlic. Cool, yeah. We'll engrave with the wand of fire. Let's hope it doesn't set the garlic on fire. Yeah, there we go. So the vampire lords are fleeing from the garlic. All right. So this will give me time to just stand around and... Uh, it's the the Merilith casts aspersions on your ancestry. Are you going to take yeah. that? Yeah, so also putting farmers. <laughs> so yeah, she is, by the way, so you might want to hurt her. <laughs> also, I saw an incubus earlier, so worry about that one when he turns, when he comes up. If, as long as I say I don't want him to take my clothes off, he won't, really. I didn't know. I didn't think they would, uh, you know, Rape you? force the issue. They might. That'll break your conduct. My celibate conduct? No, the non-rape conduct. My virgin conduct? <laughs> The non-rape conduct. Well, I don't know what that is. <laughs> you know, when you ascend, it says you were not raped. You were not. I going to say you were. Police have been called. You must give a statement downtown. Uh, you are crazy clown time. <laughs> <laughs> I've just been watching too much Law & Order SVU. <laughs> I mean, th this this couldn't be better. This this is so cool. I'm completely invincible standing on this staircase. Yeah. So you still have 150 HP on the quest level. Yeah. There should be a bonus. Blinded. Thinkest thou it shall tickle as I rip out thy lungs? Who said that to you? 
I'm not sure. It doesn't uh, say who said that. Repeating out, Sam? That's your case. Right? I don't think my ghost is here. Maybe. <laughs> the ghost of Lemuria walks up on you and rips your armor. You had a bad day when that happens. Ha! <laughs> The vampire lord saps a wand of digging. The floor here is too hard to dig in. It lets me know that the floor is too hard to dig into. Don't tell me. He was the one trying to dig. <laughs> He's not my responsibility. Okay. Is there anything that could hurt you? I don't think so. <laughs> I think the only guy you have to worry about is the incubus. Okay. Also, there's some red dots um, on the ends of the square. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there are, aren't there? I don't know what these are. Uh-oh. What? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <gasps> that doesn't happy, happen much when you're playing ASCII, but I did get confused by the isometric view there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. Okay. I don't know what's better, the keyboard or the mouse at this point. It's still really hard to see where guys are situated. Okay. Strength 25, one of priests. Not too shabby. Well, gauntlets of power. Yeah. You have to work on an armor class, but well, you're still on the quest, so. Could be worse. Yeah, I don't think you're going to be able to lure these wraiths upstairs. I'm going to, uh, I'm, well, they'll be fine because they'll be my pets. So the Elbereth won't bother and them. You're about to kill them. I haven't killed a single wraith yet. Really? Nope. I'm being very careful about that. <laughs> He's big in his fight. Yeah. What's the highest level you can be? 30. And that's it. Then do you vanish into a puff of logic if you go to 30? I don't know what happens once you reach experience. That'd be great. The slash of AC died, vanished into a clip of logic. I'm reaching level 31. You'd like that, wouldn't you, Nymeria? <laughs> yeah. I would like that. That'd be awesome. Don't we have a ring of conflict? I don't think I do. No, nope, you don't. Is that on your samurai? Yeah. I mean, in one respect, I mean, I'm really glad that we were uh, cameras rolling for this little fight. It's kind of neat to look at. In another respect, it's pretty boring, isn't it? I mean... Yeah. I mean, no, it's not more. There's, there's a farmer's job. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Mostly because you aren't doing very much damage. I'm killing everybody in two hits, man. You aren't doing much damage. <laughs> yeah, if you can't do any better than that, why are you even trying? Yeah, one hit on. Oh yeah. Oh, that would yeah, be. You could, you could train your. You could train your weapons good. I could. I could. If I, but uh. Mm. I know you. Uh, you'd like to see me train my unicorn skills. You know how long this would take if I was doing that. <laughs> <laughs> see you tomorrow. Yeah. Stream still going.
This is where Boda says, hey, uh, we, while you're training your weapon skills, I'm going to clock out for a little while and go yeah. do something else. I'm going to go to bed. It's like 4 a.m. Yeah, there. It's, 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 it's 10 o'clock already, so. so. Yeah, but you don't sleep. Sleep is for the week. That's right. Or the dead. Where's your lady? Is she asleep? No, she is in the kitchen. Ah, is she making me a sandwich? No, she is playing um, Secret World. In the kitchen? Into that game. Yeah. We have a table in the kitchen. Oh. We have a table in the kitchen, but it doesn't have a computer on it. Well, we have just one room and the kitchen, so when she wants some privacy, she just goes over. And a bathroom, right? <laughs> and a bathroom. You don't have the bathroom in your living room, do you? Um, no, but um, when she moved in here, I think she's living here since she's 14 or 15 or so. Um, she didn't have a shower. Wow. That's inconvenient. Yeah, so the whole house didn't have showers. We needed to shower in the, in the garden. Which is a thing you don't want to do in the winter. No. So everyone had uh, a um, uh, device in the house that looked like a shower. And then at some point, they needed to install showers because it's uh, the law. <laughs> That's a good law. The shower law. I've never in my lifetime lived in a place without a shower. Yeah. I haven't seen a pasta for 10 years or so. That would be nice too. I've never lived in a place without a bathtub either. <laughs> <laughs> in America, we have our bathtubs and showers are the same. Oh, no. We have that too, but just not in this house and in my. Also, in my other apartment, there wasn't a best of two. What happens there? Uh, I accidentally ate something that was lying on the ground, but I think I'm okay. You ate the garlic. Oh, no! I did. I accidentally <laughs> ate the garlic. Yeah, that's what happened. So, good thing the vampires are there. <laughs> three of them are just all right. Yeah. Okay. It's not not the end of the world, is it? We'll be fine. The wraith touches the wraith. There's <laughs> wraith on wraith love and going on. <laughs> Any of that? So, um, still have the rain resistance from your. Yes. Wall, but you do want to kill the vampires as soon as they touch you. <laughs> You're surrounded by friends. That's nice. Where's this hobbit that I keep hearing about? I don't see a hobbit on the screen. He's in between the right. Oh, He's I walking see him. Towards you. He is. Why do your wraiths sound like cats? I. Because there's a cat. He's <laughs> bottom left. By the way, the vampire lord is still fleeing. So yeah, evidently they do. You, yeah, maybe because you ate the garlic and. Oh, okay. Have some turns. Okay. I'm not sure, because I don't think they respect that word. Yeah, I think you're right. I think we were right about that the whole time. So yeah, maybe it's because I ate him. I don't know. I can't tell if this it looks like this. Yeah, human zombie. I accidentally tamed him. I guess we'll just leave him alone for now. All right. Well, it's about time to move on to the next level, I believe. Okay. Come on out.
There's like one, two, three. There's only three wraiths I didn't tame, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, that's more than enough to get me to the next level. And that, ladies and gentlemen, YouTubers, oh man, when I lead these guys out and kill them all, my God's going to hate my guts. But I will be experience level 30 when this quest is ended. So I don't care. I don't care what my God thinks about it. Remember your Ghostbusters? Are you a God? Um, no. Ghostbusters. God, there's more of these things. Look at all this. Vampire, vampire. Do worry about the vampire. Oh, this is the first time you lost health. Yeah. I don't need anything. Thank you, sweetheart. I'm going to pour me a cup of tea in a second. This quest level is absolutely ridiculous. I bet the Incubus will probably respect Elbereth anyway, so probably not a problem. Yeah, the Incubus turns to flee, so it's not an issue. So crazy, crazy lady is coming in. Who's crazy lady? Take a guess. Erinys? <laughs> My crazy lady? Is this guy on the next square or not? I can't tell. Uh, he's not. Oh. Wraith, get off my square, man. Get off my square. <laughs> <laughs> Get off my square, children. <laughs> you are trespassing. So, uh, Boda, I'm playing Darkest Dungeon, and I've got one of my characters named after you. No. Yeah, he's almost dead. He's not doing well. So much for that. I streamed it the other, the other day before yeah. I started with the pillars. That's a nice game. Uh oh. It's pretty fun. Somebody's shooting a blast of sleep, but. You are sleep resistant and you have a shield that will reflect it. <laughs> right. So Don't calm worry. Down. You're alright, Slash. You're alright. But yeah, you're a grave digger, I think. You can, you can go, go on, on your yeah. yeah. Sorry. Oh, oh, look who we have here. It's an asshole. Bounce. Bounce, Nesky. So now you have a light show. <laughs> It's nice to be able to put on a light show. Okay, okay so this will be the high scoring character of yours. Yeah. Probably. I don't doubt it. Doubt it. Yeah, between this and the uh, pudding farming. I bet you get a lot of points from all the puddings you killed. Not as many as you're going to get from this Nazgul, though. I can't tell if my wraiths are losing tameness or if they're wandering off. I'm, I've got less wraiths now. They get killing each other. The pet wraiths will kill each other? Oh, they could have been killed by the other enemies, though, couldn't they? Yeah, because yeah, they're attacking everything. That's, that's, that's the problem. So you should go upstairs for a second and bring as many with you as you can. 
Good call. Tell you what we'll do. I'll lead him over here for a minute. Apply the whistle. Okay, there we go. Well, you don't have to understand them. Another Nazgul. It could be the same Nazgul. No, I killed the first one. Yeah. Can I speak froze? I don't know what's happening anymore. Okay, now you're downstairs again. Now you're upstairs again. Yep, you're all uh, you're all caught up. I think. Guys, get off the stairs. There you go. Yes, yes takes us on the visit. So, in any other place, we would have thought, damn it, in Ashku, I'm going to die now. Then we were like, okay. There's that. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Who's crazy lady? That's a girl riding a dragon. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <to> say more. <laughs> yeah, she's pretty weird looking. Naked woman riding dragons. That's crazy lady. Oh, that's weird. Oh, that wraith must not have been right beside me when I did that. Okay. Yeah. There we go. You should have the rent with you. The door rent. What wand? The rent of locking. Oh, I don't know if I do or not. Ah. So maybe that's, that's rough to get all the waves from your staircase. All oh, right, create a door. Yeah. Okay. I don't think it's worth it. Because at one point you will need a door and it won't be able to stop the charges. Yeah. Our cat is crazy. Oh, hello. That's not good. Uh, that can be a shocking encounter. Yes, it can. I've got the rings on. That could be bad. I've got a lot of wands out. That could be bad. So what do you have to kill it from far? If you have a lot of wands of striking, Put it all in your bag. Yeah. Um, oh, whoa! I've got the wishing wand out. Not that it'll matter, I guess. Fire, I need to keep out though. Well, no, I don't want it to melt. So, I'll keep uh, one striking wand out. I'll take off the rings, it. huh? Try to strike it as soon as it comes up. Oh. You have faster than it, right? Yeah. So you can zap its rent of striking. Yeah, I don't want to hit my race though. Yeah, yeah then move, move up a bit. Wraith picks up a box. Wow, they're carrying boxes around. All right, I'm gonna try it now. Uh, there we go. Ooh. Okay. No damage done. I've had my mace this whole time. <laughs> God, God damn, damn it, Sash. Sash. <laughs> Maybe wield something better. The 
at least it would allow me to uh, exchange places with monsters, you know. I didn't realize I could do that. There we go. Okay, back to business now. I hope we're almost done. I'm kind of tired of standing in this one place. Yeah, but now you maybe want to get your storm ring out and start hitting stuff. <laughs> got it. I've got it. I don't know how many wraiths I've got upstairs, but I think I'm ready to just start killing them. Eh, yeah, we'll see. I don't know how many are left to battle, so... Okay. <laughs> he has killed Nick Danger's ghost. Yeah, who is Nick Danger? Anyway? I don't know, but he's dead. Uh, there's a Wraith Zapping Create Monster wands, eh? That's not good. That's, That's interesting. interesting. Here, nope. Speed Monster and Digging. So... There's one vampire, as you see. There's a regular ghost. And zombies. So you should be able to kill everything. Okay, I got the create monster thing back. Potion of healing. Still backing off, so he seems to respect Interesting. Yeah, I am more than a little bit surprised by that. Yeah, one pass up. Did you have them? Thank you, Stormbringer. Yeah. It's getting more tense by the second. Well, you know, there are so many monsters that you you can't help but feel like you're one mistake away from tragedy, you know? Yeah. yeah, of course. Step away from the elbow and suddenly fall over as I around you. Right. Or, uh... Yeah, it's a storm ring. Uh, yeah. See, I haven't seen any of these so-called bullwhip wielders yet. That was the warning on the wiki about the quest. I think, I think the crazy girl needs a bullwhip. Ah, uh, okay. Also, Dark Unicorn coming up. Ah, uh, but I'm Dark myself, so... No problem there. Yeah. Phew! So remember, Wraiths are generating in this map, so... I don't know if Vampires are too, but... I think, I, I think you can kill them all. Really? You think they'll just keep generating, huh? Faster than I can kill them. Yes. Let's, Let's see. Priest quest. Priest quest. Whoops. If you have the charm monster spell and the magic missile, you can charm several waves at a time. Oh, we aren't the first one to get that idea. <laughs> So, 
the Secret Temple, and then there's the Upper Filler Valley, we cross that one, and then there's the Temple of Nozog. Then comes the Lower Filler Valley, and then comes Nozog the Lair. So the Temple of Nazog, the rock core of the temple is surrounded by empty ground, containing the upstairs a little way to the right of the mapped area. The Anandine Temple has both its attendant priests and the Nazar Hostel, a priest of Moloch. The entire mapped area outside the temple is a graveyard, filled with the usual assortment of, of undead. In addition to the boxes of the graveyard, the four corner chambers of the temple each contain four random objects. Each also contains a marked random trap, and there are two other random traps located in the map area. The entire level has undiggable walls and floors, teleportation is permitted. Use the stairs to your advantage, of course. Do not underestimate the angry priest of Moloch if you have no magic resistance. Don't say anything about your general Liko. I think every square of that whole graveyard must have had someone standing on it. I could have put on my uh, blind... Hey, let's put on the blindfold. Tape his last words. Let's put on my blindfold. Oh, there he is. Priest of uh, uh, Moloch. Yeah, he's peaceful, and the other one is, isn't because he's lawful. Uh, does this answer your question? Four, five. Okay, let's count them. We have five um, vampires. And so when there are more than five vampires, six, seven, eight, nine, and there are more than nine vampires, we know that they are regenerating. Okay. Whoops. Killed my house cat. This has to be shitty, by the way. But every time you close your eyes, you can see everything. You don't think that this will have your sleep cell. So, during the soul quest, you didn't drop under 110 HP the whole time. Yeah, it's, so far it's been a really uh, easy quest. I mean, you just need to have whatever basic resistance you need to have, you know? Yeah. And, uh... Little drain helps a lot. Well, so, I guess if you're lawful, you want to go for Excalibur as soon as possible. Right, yeah. Is that a black pudding? Yeah, no. Yeah, this gray ooze. Okay, it's probably time to get the old wand of death out. The old wand of death, but then that's not the end. That's not the. Oh, really? No, it's just the priest. Oh, okay. Nazlok's lair is two stair stones. Priest of Moloch cast a spell at me. I stiffen briefly. You can move again. That priest is not friendly. Yeah, kill him. Kill him as soon as possible. Don't let him cast spells. 
It's the same thing as it is a wiki. So I did, should have hit him with the wand of death, or just, just straight, straight up kill him. him? Just walk up to him and kill him. Yeah. yeah. Uh, dude. Teleport time. You have a wand of teleport. Get back out of there. Not on me. No. I get one more shot at this. I get to pull some stuff out of my bag, hopefully. Wind of death it is. So what it says on the wiki is? Blah, blah, blah. This is test your advantage. Do not underestimate the angry priest of Moloch if you have no magic resistance. Don't give the priest chance to cast spells. So I guess what did all the damage was the uh, big blue elephant. Uh, the priest of Moloch can uh, kick and cast spells in the same turn, so he's fast. He was doing some damage too, but it will. Uh, I'm not gonna make take any chances. I'll. Uh, whoop whoop. Whoop. Too, too late. Too late. It's attacking you now. There's the Zerudi. They I'm do. Of these yeah. Anything that looks that big on your screen, right? Yeah. yeah. This thing killed uh, my monk. And I was very sad about that. Okay, I think this guy is the priest of Moloch, but I'll get a little closer and have a better look. So I don't think he kicked and attacked at the same time. I think he uh, throws you again. Ah, uh, okay. And that's why he had the time to do most of things. Yeah, he throws his spear at him. Could be worse. Oh, nice. He's impervious to death wand. Nice. Good, Good thing to know. know. Yeah. <laughs> so good thing he... Yeah. yeah. Alright. Got him. Yeah, that's what I thought. He didn't have much health. It was just the way that he froze you for two turns, and the sword he could attack two turns, which is taking a lot of health. A slippery cloak. An aligned priest's corpse. <laughs> okay. Yeah, what can we go on? <laughs> yeah, I think I won't. Alright, I'm going to wrap up this video here at some point. I think killing the priest of Moloch will be a good conclusion. Uh, join me in the next episode for killing Nalzok and finishing the quest and hurting all those guys out and becoming the screen level 30. Maybe I can do that in one episode. Maybe it'll take two. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you later next time.